Yeah. 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 She's got to take that serve away at some point in this third set. I mean, Safarova cannot keep giving that one away. That's four in a row that Venus has just slammed down, three of them for aces, the other a service winner. It's when you have to be aware of patterns in a match. That's an example of a brave second serve, which she's going to need if she's going to move on to the third round. And, and something, again, that David Witt and Venus have been working on. Get a little more spin, be a little more aggressive with, with your placement as well on the second serve. Wow. This is aggressive serving. You can, you can, as long as your yeah, mentality is ready on clay to do it, and, and you've got the power, forget the fact that it's red and slippery. Just hit your shots. Just ignore the surface. If you're Venus. Yes. It's, it, look, it's impossible to do because at some point you, you change your game, you make adjustments. But Venus's best chance to win a French Open is to pretend it's green. <laughs> game point. A couple of them. We're watching Roger Federer over on court, Philippe Chatrier. Pam, would you give him the same advice? He's got a lot snappier results at Wimbledon. And he also has a lot of snappier results here. I mean, it's just one final. And, and playing against the greatest clay court player of all time, perhaps Nadal. So. But do you think yeah, his I'm best chance is to volley more, to, to use that forehand drop shot that he's been showing this week? To Yes. Yes. Yeah, me too. This is high-quality stuff now in this final set. First time we've seen this many holes.